the traffic and Dukoti is nobody's meat, so it's best I take um, a bike for easy access and all that. So yeah, let's go. Hello guys, good afternoon and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Chimex here again and on today's episode, I'll be taking you guys to the Douala China Mall. The China Mall Group is known for its collection of wholesale and retail Chinese products across different countries in South Africa, Ghana and now Cameroon. The China Mall Group focuses to become Africa's leading wholesale mall brand, committed to enriching the lives and dreams of all. The China Mall Group was founded out of passion for connecting people with their needs and to provide the lowest cost possible for high quality products. The China Mall Group was founded in 2003 and so far it's been the leader in providing cheap and really affordable but yet they say high quality goods to its clients. I will tell you the reason why I say don't come to Douala China Mall at the end of the video. So keep watching and if you want to know why, just keep watching to the end. If you love this content, please like and uh, subscribe if you haven't and let's go ahead and see what they have to offer. So the first thing that really caught my attention were these blinds. They really look high quality and the prices, 7,000 for these. Uh, I think I need to change my blinds, sir. Eh? Yeah. So my next visit to, uh, to China Mall is gonna be for the blinds. So here we have the kids section, kids bikes. They cost um, 57,000 francs. So what do you think? Are they cheap or they are okay for the bikes? Because I can get um, these same bikes for less at Ndobo. So tell me, I don't know. This cost um, 120,000 francs for these bikes. Yeah, so let's keep on exploring. So here we are at the gym section. They have um, mini gym equipment. So here we have the treadmill. It cost um, 600,000 francs. But I wouldn't advise you going for that because it looks really, really Chinese. You know, it doesn't look strong for me. So here we have the washing machine. My fellow Cameroonian YouTuber Darlene Lees said this is luxury. Mommy K on the other hand, Kenna Kea says this is a necessity if you live, if you're a mom and living in a home. So what do you guys think? Is washing machine a luxury or a necessity? It costs 250,000 francs. And here we have the microwave, pretty, pretty decent. There were some for 30,000, there were some for hundreds of thousands. So I like it, pretty decent. Then we have um, the side lamp. Mm, too flashy for me, too flashy. So what about you? Are you gonna go for the flashy ones or the subtle, you know, casual, cool, nice, no, not too bright ones? If there is something these guys have in excess are kitchen utensils, plates, pots, spoon, knife, forks, and everything. Um, pressure pot, 29,000 francs. I've never bought a pressure pot myself, so I don't know how much that is. I don't know if this is cheap or expensive. So yeah, they have all shapes and designs of plate, even catering bowls, um, whatever you need for your kitchen. And now we have the shower heads. Shower heads, uh, how much does it cost? 70,000 francs for this. Uh, I would say for that design, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Then 10,000 francs for this head, tap head. But the problem is I don't know if these things are gonna last. I don't know. But let's just keep exploring and enjoying the view. So now we head on upstairs for the furniture section. Upstairs is just furniture, 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 chairs, tables, everything furniture, office and all that. So let's get exploring and checking out some of the items one by one, each by each. Let's go. So here we have the tables. Uh, center tables for your living room um, they cost let me see if I brought in the prices I don't think so I bet I think they cost I think around I, I don't want to give a fake price so this uh, office table for your employees they cost 70,000 francs well 
pretty pretty decent the prices are worth it and for, for me it's really cheap Seventy thousand francs for that table it's a good price and these chairs cost a hundred thousand francs each office chairs nice designs the leather is decent um yeah pretty decent leather though i feel they are gonna peel off in the future so yep there you have it then the next section now we move on to i don't know if i should call this what kind of tables are these kitchen tables compound tables dining tables i don't know um they cost three hundred and eighty thousand francs wow that's a lot um yep then we have the others little round tables um how much two hundred and seventy thousand francs hmm. i thought this place was cheap or am i the one who is too broke maybe definitely yeah i'm the one who's too broke so here we have the cupboards and here we have dining tables as well but these are glass i don't know if i brought in the prices for these ones but they look pretty pretty decent and um kind of loud not really my thing i don't like i'm not a fan of glass tables glass dining tables like that i prefer um wood or um, um and in fact wood 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 i'm not a fan of glass tables so here we have um pop pits or oh, that's how they call them they cost a hundred and sixty thousand francs for one so you are thinking of investing or gifting your church one of these you can head on to the dweller mall and uh, get one of those six one hundred and sixty thousand francs and guess what this cost ten thousand francs damn this was cheap though and for the mattress pretty decent pretty decent good price yeah and now we head on to the other section where we have single um angle chairs so as well as um balcony sitting chairs and tables as well i was in love with these little designs and all of this Two hundred and thirty thousand francs just for this and the two chairs damn So that's the bed. Mm, how much does it cost? Four hundred and fifty thousand francs for that bed, mm -hmm. and ten thousand francs for these tools. Mm. Man, too many fine things. If I continue, I might not even have transport to go back home. <laughs> so, the earlier I leave from here, the better. The earlier I run away the better mm. after shopping and shopping other basic necessities or things i didn't even plan on buying i came to the mock section like there were so many choices but then i spotted my best team the best team in the world the champions of europe the champions of the world chelsea ft you know what i mean if you don't belong to this club then you are nothing so yep i got scented candles as well i had no plans of buying them but i saw them i was like okay no harm in making the house a little bit fresh so yep i got that there are so many options then and also we have the bathroom section when you get to this mall there you realize there are so many things you don't have at home and you just want to buy them from here that is the case with me and the bathroom my bathroom blinds i don't have a blind in the bathroom and um, they have everything for you the bathroom mats, the bathroom blinds, even the stick to connect the blinds, <laughs> they have it here. And these are wallpapers, wallpapers, various designs. Uh -huh. Very nice designs. I see a lot of people, especially Nigerians, buying these for their kitchens, for their kids' rooms and all that. Because they also serve as protection for the kids. When if a kid uh, hits his head or hands or any part of the body on these uh, 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 wallpapers, they are not going to feel any pain. So I'm done. I'm done for today. Came and spent one money I was not even expecting. Shit. 
try no more hello guys so welcome back um i was supposed to do the unpacking or unboxing of whatever it is i got but mm, i don't want to do that i don't want to be like okay i'm showing off this or that because some of the comments i got in my previous um Carrefour market video i don't want such comments here so i'm just going to show you guys what i went there to buy i went to the dweller mall to get um just this because as you can see uh, my table is yeah so i want to get this to you know to wrap it up but unfortunately unfortunately i got so many other things like so so many other things jam packed where are they even ah, oops i got a lot of stuff so um yeah no time for unpacking now So you do not visit the dweller mall except one you have a list and the money you have corresponds to that list because if you go there with excess money you're going to use all of what you have and wish you had more if possible pay with your mobile money so i advise you don't go to dweller mall with a lot of cash because you're going to be tempted to buy more there are a lot 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 of beautiful amazing and really really cheap stuffs in there so i'll advise you create a list exactly know exactly what you're going to buy get a budget for exactly that maybe you can add maybe say 10 or 5k for you know miscellaneous you never can tell but if you go with something little you regret why you went with something little and you wish you had more and you want to buy and buy and buy and buy you're definitely going to come in next time so yep for me the place is amazing beautiful but of course the china Ego tea, we don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this series today, and um, see you guys on the next one. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one. This is Chimex, and I'm out. Peace.